Hey guys, I'm back from TechGeeks.com with a indoor grow light. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a long time, and I've had this one a while, so I apologize to Kyson. Uh, I had uh, some issues with the laptop and all kinds of issues, so I'm late to get into this. So um, I actually just finished a cycle of growing uh, hot peppers with this one of these exact lights. I mean, I have two of these ones of the Kyson brand. Uh, to start off with, this one is priced at $21.99 at Amazon.com. Uh, I have seen cheaper ones, I will admit that, but I haven't had one that works quite as well as this, and I have probably six different ones, six different lights like this. And this one actually, I, I think it's its design and shape that seems to work a little bit better for me anyways. Um, it is 17 watts, so you're not using a lot of electricity. You can leave them on 24 hours a day. Um, there's 24 LEDs, and it offers a full spe spectrum uh, of, of growth. So let's take a look at some of their pictures. Uh, that's a good one. Of It almost looks like the light's not done. There's no cover on this or nothing. Um uh, some of the other ones I have have covers. I mean, it doesn't matter to me either way. It's still very well built. Um, that is all your grow lights right there. There it is off. Uh, you can see the sides here have these fins. And that's for uh, the heat trans uh, distribution. Um, there's the full band. 16 red, 4 blue. One piece EIR, one piece is ultraviolet, one piece is white, one piece is the warm white. So you're getting a full spectrum, all different uh, light bands covered. Uh, there's what I was speaking of with the, the vented fins, almost, they look like. Um, outstanding, there you go, heat uh, dissipation with built-in heat sink metal aluminum. Can't beat that. Uh, there's, see their cap's a little different, I think, than, uh, oh, okay, it's dust-resistant, contrary to light for full use. But the cap is different than any of that I've used so far. Uh, it, it, they make such a concentrated area, which I really like. Um, I use, like, one for each pepper plant that I'm growing, and it's just concentrated right on that pepper plant. Um, basically, they're self-explanatory on uh, setup so there's no any owner's manual you get a recycled paper uh, box which I really like I really like the uh, looks like a child did the uh, graphics on it I thought that was really cool uh, I like the Sun there um, these will increase your yield 20 to 50 percent which should contain 20 percent more total soluble sugar and vitamin C as well as 20 to 30 percent more crude protein these are high efficiency almost one watt each LED uh, compared to most uh, traditional HID HTPS and T5 grow lights which I've used the T5 and the HPS and I've had better luck with this so this one's even listed as being better uh, not only is it better in my opinion as far as my yield but also just in uh, pure facts um, more effective coverage and outstanding heat dissipation, as I was saying before. Um, yeah, efficiency over 10 feet in diameter, 120 degree wide angle beam covers the uh, 10 feet diameter, which I think is high for what my other ones were. They were nowhere near that high as far as what they cover. Like I said, I use one right off of a, uh, right onto my plant, whatever I'm growing. Usually it's a hot pepper of some sort. Um, I use a heating pad underneath the pot of dirt with the seed and then the light above it. And these are regular um, uh, ends on them, on the connection ends. Uh, it's not the <coughs> e E27, I think. Is that, I think that's what it is. Uh, let me see if they have it listed here. Um, these also have a 100% money-back guarantee. 
<coughs> excuse me, no question asked, return replacement, one year warranty, buy with confidence, gotta like that. Um, let me see what the base is. I actually forget which one it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, da, 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 da. 200, well, look at the lifespan, or 50,000 hours. Yeah, the base type is E27. Um, I'll show you how to be able to use, like, the candle lights. If, if you need to use a candle light, which I find easier to use, um, just because of what I have around the house, but if you're in a situation like me and need to use a candlestick type light with a real small base, <coughs> excuse me, there are adapters you can buy. They're very cheap for like a box of them. I think it was like $5. But anyways, I'll show you that in the hands-on part of the review. Um, but there's some more specs on them. Uh, pretty much everything you're going to get. Uh, see, it's, it's nice though. They describe it as a 17 watt bulb, but it's similar to a 24 watt grow light uh, because of how this one is set up. So basically, you're getting uh, more light for a cheaper price than uh, some out there. Some are cheaper, but don't seem to work nearly as good as this. I was actually very surprised with this product. Uh, let me go back up to here. Uh, Kyson did a really good job on this, so I will put a link to the product, which, like I said, it's twenty one ninety nine, so under twenty two bucks. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. You can check that out. Go go look at it for yourself. Maybe put one on your wish list or whatever. Uh, I really want to thank Kyson for having uh, patience with me on getting the review out. I'll show you a little bit more in the hands on demonstration. Uh, it's going to be just about the light bulb and showing it lit up and whatnot. I don't have it set up with my plants growing right now, so. And uh, that's about to start right now. And there's the box you're going to be getting it in. Like I said, I like the uh, kind of child looking sun there. But recycle box. Uh, for any reason you're not satisfied, please feel free to contact us. Uh, they, they're very handy on the uh, emails also. They're very fast. Really like that. Um, plus the guarantee you get with them. Thought that was good. But these are great if you want to grow something, uh, you know, in the winter time. Depending on where you live. I live in the East Coast, so it gets a little chilly here. So I put a heating pad down, then whatever potted plant, uh, uh, vegetable, whatever you're trying to grow. I put the potted plant or vegetable right on top of the heating pad and then the grow light right above it. Uh, but this is the light. You can see it has this base, uh, the E27. Uh, very well built. This is like all aluminum. And that's for your heat uh, dissipation. And there's the lights themselves. Give you a good look at them. But very, it's very well built, actually. I mean, there's a cover over this, a piece of glass. Just everything's different looking than any grow lights that I've used. Um, it, it, it does work, though. It, it works actually very well. Uh, I was surprised uh, for how well it did work. Um, I, the, the price, like I said, I, it, it's, they're so in between. There's so many different ones of these. You can spend up to fifty dollars I mean whatever you want but this one worked very very well uh, like I said my yield was a little better than than I don't want to say the other brands I used but it definitely was better um, being that this has all the full bands for uh, the growth spectrums which was really good um, this I wanted to see the yield was twenty to fifty percent better uh, then I got probably with I wrote it down what I got off of my uh, first pepper that I grew with it and it was it was quicker and I thought the pepper was uh, more bountiful I should I guess I'd want to say but um, Kyson does make other brands of these uh, they have a 48 piece 
SMD full spectrum. There's you know there's different spectrums of these, but if you click on um, the Kaisem's name up above, right under the product name, you'll see uh, all their different products you can get. Now, I, what I was saying earlier was I have a candlestick light, which I use a lot of, and they have the small base, which this won't fit into, as you can see. So, uh, Amazon does sell these little sockets. You just screw this into here, and it converts it to a full size which I find easier to use these lights because you can hang them upside down right over the what you're growing um, but there you can see it's on let me turn off this light and that's all light coming from this I don't want to show it to you right in the camera's face but you get the idea um, like I said I like to hang mine so mine would be sitting like this right say the box is the plant I would be right over it like that and you get a really wide uh, distribution of light obviously you can see it's lighting up my whole desk but um, you can also see how the sides are emitting light it's basically right here but that's where this is where all the magic's gonna happen and this is like a let me unscrew it once the top of it you can see is beveled this part right here and that helps with uh, you know getting your distribution of the light out so these are very simple to set up very simple to use it's just a matter of screwing this into whatever type of light you got like I said I don't have a lot of uh, lighting options so I like going with the candlestick lights mainly because I can guide this light the grow light right where I need it to be without losing uh, and you know because I grow one thing at a time so it seems to help me a lot but you guys might want to check these out they're really fun great for kids uh, great for the whole family grow some uh, grow some vegetables or whatnot in the uh, winter months if you like um, I will have obviously the links to the product and I will also have a link to my website techgeeks.com that's T-E-C-K geeks.com I'll have that in the product description uh, in the video and um, I'm probably going to be giving one of these away if not this one I'm going to check with Kaisem to see if they allow it but we do tons of giveaways on the website we announce all the giveaways through YouTube and the only way you're going to get email alerts whenever I post a giveaway or a new video which could be a giveaway is to be subscribed to my YouTube channel it's simple click and that's it you're done forget about it and then whenever I post new videos you can check them out or if you want to leave some comments I really appreciate comments I uh, love getting comments love answering questions uh, but Kyson I want to say thank you. You're a great company. Uh, really great with the emails and uh, very prompt when I had questions. So check them out on Amazon.com. The link is in the description and I will see you guys on the next one.